Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make your very own modern Taco Bell. If you do enjoy this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button as it helps me and the channel out very, very much. But without any further ado, let's get started. This is the amount of space required to make your Taco Bell, a 23 by 26 block area as represented by the white concrete grid on the ground, which I would always recommend making if you are planning out your world. It can only help. Here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. And now that we have all of our stuff, we can get started. Step one, if you have made the grid, come all the way over to the front left hand corner of it and then count to the right, one, two, three, four. And then inwards, one, two, three, four. Begin by placing a row of nine light grey concrete extending up from this point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then extend right by four. One, two, three, four. Back by four. One, two, three, four. And then extend across and join forwards. And I would recommend joining every single one of the corners of the shape that we have just made down to the ground just to make like a big box, kind of like this. We'll be filling that in a little bit later, but for now, take the bottom front right hand corner of the shape, extend it back by two, one, two, using light grey concrete, and then grab your grey concrete and extend this block to the right by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We then want to take this eighth block and we want to extend backwards by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We then want to place a black glass, black concrete, leave a gap, black concrete, black glass. We then want to place a grey concrete on the end and extend it across by ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we want to start extending forwards. So we are going to extend all the way to where we would connect to the light grey concrete shape that we have here. So it may even be easier if at this point we choose to fill in. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it. I might go from like left to right. If we choose to fill in all of the sides of the shape, just because we have a lot of stuff that connects to this. You could call it the cornerstone to our Taco Bell. So if we get all of this filled in, then we can add some of the other details. So the next thing that we're going to be doing after this, and by the way, you might as well fill the, in, in case you were curious, like the top of this doesn't lead down into the restaurant as you might think. it. Um, it's just kind of like a shape all just by itself. So adding a skylight or something to it would be a little bit redundant. So we just want to have something which should look like that very modern looking building. So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to add a window to the front of Taco Bell. It's quite easy. On the left and right sides, all you got to do is add a row of two birch planks like this. And your window is slap bang in the middle, to which we can then extend the birch planks upwards by three rows. So that's one, two, three. And we can join across at the top like this. Perfect. We're going to add a row of polished black stone stairs to the top of the inside of the window with two rows of glass pane below the stairs and boom, easy peasy, you got yourself a nice looking window. We want to add more windows. There's several of them, even different kinds, wide, small, dry through, all kinds of windows. So if we extend this birch plank backwards here by one, place two glass, two birch, two glass and then ultimately we'd be placing two birch but this is the entrance of door windows as well another one so we're now going to extend the glass upwards here the door windows by one two and one two same thing for the black concrete as well one two one two we're going to join the black concrete together at the top just like this and what we essentially want to do is we want to raise up the birch planks similar to what we did on the front. We can even extend them across, I do believe, all the way to the back, really, all the way to the back here, above the entrance. 
The entrance is a little bit special in that it gets polished blackstone slabs across the top of it, kind of like this. Now, for the other windows here, oh, we missed a little bit of butch. For the other windows, we simply want to, same with the front, place the blackstone stairs, specifically the polished blackstone stairs, because they look... I, cleanest, I don't know if is the right word, but kind of like the smoothest of the stairs. Of uh, We might even raise up, by the way, we might raise up this uh, row of slabs because then it is kind of like parallel to the bottom of the stairs there, and I think it just looks a little bit better. In addition to this, there's another window on in, in the back, on the back, in, in and on the back, I guess. It's basically just two rows of birch planks here across, uh, across the back, and then two rows of your black glass pane, and then polished blackstone stairs above this. Preferably facing the right way, like that, but not right, right way, wrong wrong position. And we just want to have the rest of the Taco Bell. For now, we're going to improve it a little bit later. Uh, for now, we just want to have uh, birch planks like make up the rest of it, just like this. Now, we have a final side, the final side, which is the drive through window. It's quite easy to do. We start on the left here and we place a row of three. One, two, three birch planks. We then want to leave a gap, place a single black glass pane, place two rows of birch planks, two glass, and then finally birch planks. So, um, the glass portions each want to have an additional glass put on top of them, so um, the left and right sides here. We want to, on the right side here, place polished blackstone stairs, because this this is just a regular window. On the left is going to be a drive through window, so we're actually not going to tamper with that just now, because we don't have all of the necessary materials, but um, it basically wants to be, if we raise up all of these birch planks, um, I think, I mean, we could actually, I don't know whether this is going to look weird or not, and I, it might even be better to change it back, but we'll just use these stairs for now, just like this, and we'll just leave it at that, but we will be coming back to this. We then want to place purple concrete on top of all of the birch planks, so all the birch planks for the building, just all the way around like this, uh, and, well, I mean, there's there's nothing much more to it. And that's looking pretty cool already. I'm actually quite happy with that. So, we should really make the Taco Bell sign, or at least, you know, a good portion of it. So, we want to take, if we start on the front, above the window line here, we want to have a row of purple concrete. The purple concrete wants to extend one row out of the side of the build. We then want to place purple concrete extending backwards like this, and it wants to line up with the second window. We then want to have four rows in total of this, so that would be one, two, three, four, and we want to raise it all up just like this. And we want to have this. And I'm going to raise up the blocks just behind it. I'm not going to fill anything else in other than this. I just kind of want to extend the blocks behind. I, d I don't know why, just I think it looks a little bit better. But the end result should look like that. So that, pretty happy with it. We then, the remaining space on top of the remaining purple concrete that we have, we're going to place a row of birchwood planks on top. So just on top of the row of purple concrete that we made earlier. And ultimately then, we will finalize this by placing polished blackstone slabs on top. And pretty much we'll just fill the top of the remaining part of the building in. So it doesn't really matter what you fill it in with precisely. I mean, light grey concrete might even be a decent enough choice. Um, you could just skim the blackstone slabs across the top if you wanted to as well. You could use, but quite honestly, you can use any of the concretes or materials that we have. There's no bad choice. Maybe even dark grey would have been a better choice because then it would have contrasted against that area but there's no way that i'm undoing that so it, there's no right or wrong answer when it comes to the roof um I, I think you just can fill it in with whatever you would like so now that we have done that i feel as though that we should probably add infrastructure to the taco bell you'll have to imagine the air quotes that i just used <laughs> so 
Basically, what what let's let's stop being so protective over these materials. Let's grab some different ones. So we will need some smooth stone. We will need the grey concrete. We will need terracotta, oak leaves, dark oak trapdoors. We'll need spruce planks. We'll need a dark oak door, and we will need more materials as we progress. But for now, let's let's just sort this out. So leaves. I want to add leaves to the front of Taco Bell. Basically, just from this crevice to the left, going almost all the way to the right, leaving a gap of one. Then, I want to place dark oak uh, trap doors in front of them, flicked upwards, just to create kind of like a set of planters. I want to have a pathway that leads from the side of Taco Bell, all the way from the back, all the way to the front. So... If you can imagine, well, you don't need to imagine. We can take the back right corner, extend across by two, extend forwards, and then we want to extend this area to the left and join it to the light gray concrete area. And this is all going to be kind of sort of ish footpath. So I, I went a little bit too far there. I actually want to leave some of the grass around the planters alone just to kind of create a little bit of a contrast there so the remaining area here like i said it just wants to be path and i'm just using smooth stone for this because it is my favorite sort of like pavement material so here here on the right as well all the way up here perfect there we go nice so, the next thing would be that we have to add a road, a drive-through for the entire of Taco Bell. So, this is essentially three rows of uh, grey concrete that just, it's directly to the right of this path. It kind of takes the path of least resistance almost um, around Taco Bell. So, directly to the right from the boundary, uh, just of the path here, all the way to the back. Um, we want to have a re it might uh, this may have been easier to do first but th this might help you out a little if if you simply place a single row of tarot carter all the way around the boundary line on the left right and back sides of, of taco bell then that kind of shows you where you're going to be putting a uh, road afterwards for the most part might have been a bit easier perhaps so you can now see here just on the left and i think that we might even add a planter to uh, to the side as well but we'll add the road in first and then we can kind of decide afterwards because it just cover it up anyway so it's not really a big deal um yeah we'll probably add a set of planters one one just to the left of the window and one to the right but we uh we want to add the road in um first uh then there's a couple of, there's like an outdoor seating area to add to our Taco Bell. I want to add a pathway that, um, that just kind of like sits in front of Taco Bell as well. And I want to connect the drive through to the road. This isn't a functional city that I have, but you know, it's, it's still, the, there is one long road though. I mean, I guess this would probably be the most impressive high street ever. Like, there's like over a hundred city builds all on one road in my city, in, in my like city tutorial world. Like, it just keeps going and going and going. Like, it would take forever to walk up and down this thing. So, um, we've placed all of that here. And then, as I mentioned, I'm just going to connect um, this, the, the roads to this actual very long road. And I would expect you guys to do the equivalent in your cities or worlds. Depending upon how you've got things laid out. I mean, this might not even need a drive through in your world. Perhaps you've even skipped ahead. Maybe you're not even listening to me say this whatsoever. But um, you just want to connect your Taco Bell to your city or world in whichever sort of way you want. Like this would easily, and I say this for pretty much every single build, this is very moldable. You can just put, the, it doesn't need the drive through. It doesn't even need the seating area outside. You can just place the city, the, the actual restaurant portion anywhere in your city if you wanted to like you don't need anything else really it's standalone but um just in case you don't want the drive through that's why that's why we've made it so we now want to grab oak leaves oak leaves are basically we're going to place them parallel to where the oak leaves here on the right hand side are and we're just going to leave a gap of i want to say one two three four 
five. So here, on this row, we want to place oak leaves, and we want to extend the oak leaves all the way over to the left, and we want to stop one row short of where the path ends. And then we're just going to place trapdoors all the way around the edge of this, and we'll flick them up. Side note, does anybody else think that these trapdoors look like chocolate? Because I certainly do, and it's making me a little bit hungry. It's making me consider that maybe my next build has to be a chocolate factory. <laughs> So now that we've done this, that's perfect. We're going to come to the left side here. And like I said, I think that I'm just going to add some hedging. So here, maybe I'll... Do I even want to leave a gap? So yeah, maybe maybe I'll do it like this. So hedging and then I'll add... We don't even necessarily need them to be made into planters because... Um, I don't know, it kind of like contrasts nicely against the dark grey already. So... Um, I don't know, but I mean, it does it does look good like that anyway. Whilst we are at this particular part in the build, and, you know, now is as good a time as any, um, I'm going to grab the polished blackstone wall and the polished blackstone slabs, and I want to place polished blackstone slabs um, in front of the uh, two stairs that we have here for the drive through window, extend left and right by one, extend forwards by one, and then take the back two corners and place two black stone walls extending upwards, kind of like this. It's just a fancy feature, basically, for the drive through window. Um, we could even highlight the drive through window even more by accentuating using black concrete or by using purple, but black concrete would actually stand out quite nicely. Now that we've done that, I'm taking a quick look around the build. There are some obvious things that we have to make, such as these signs, but for now, what I want to do is I want to floor the inside of our Taco Bell, because we're actually going to be able to make most of Taco Bell with the resources that we have with us now, which is very rare, actually. Like, usually we have to grab whole inventory, several inventories full of, uh, <laughs> of materials to be able to, uh, to complete these builds. But this one, for the most part, we will need to get more stuff. For the most part, we have a good chunk of the stuff. So um, we're going to refloor the inside. Basically, just rip up all of the grass and replace it with your material of choice. Mine is going to be a spruce planks. It might even be a good idea to separate the inside a little bit because it, it actually has two different floors. So let's, let's just grab purple concrete as well before we start. Purple concrete and also chiseled quartz block. Where we have the drive through window here, we want to... Uh, we basically want to leave... We don't want to leave a gap of what yeah we want to place from this gray concrete block just like next to this window here the small window my apologies we want to what happened to the purple concrete by the way okay <laughs> going crazy over here so from this block we want to place two purple one two we then want to leave a gap of one and then have another purple so i'm just going to destroy that place the purple and then we're going to extend the purple across just like this and then inside of this area, I want it to be a chiseled quartz block. And then everywhere else, I want it to be a spruce plank. So just like this. I'm even going to flare the inside of um, basically the purple concrete here. I'm going to flare it inwards by two blocks like this, because that's what we're going to have to do later. And now I'm just going to proceed onto the floor instead of getting confused with the window position. The, the reason being, I know why I got confused, by the way, like I couldn't figure out exactly. I thought I'd made a mistake to start with because there's supposed to be two birch planks next to each other in between the window, but we made one of the birch planks uh, blank rows, black concrete instead. So for a second, I was like, oh no, what, what have I done? But that's okay. So we're just going to leave that as it is now. And we're going to stick a door on, which is going to be dark oak wood, like this. And um, I'm pretty happy with how things are progressing. There's not much left to do outside. There's important things to do, but there's not much left to do. So let's take care of the easier things, and we'll finish up with the sign. So, we need light grey concrete, purple, magenta, yellow... We also need a seating area as well, of course. So smooth quartz stairs, end rods, purple concrete, purple carpet, 
concrete and we will start off with this seating area is going to be basically in between the two planters taking this middle row of smooth quarter, uh, smooth stone we'll place a stair end rod stair gap of one stair end rod stair and then we'll actually just leave it like that i think that we could actually fit well, yeah, we could evenly fit another set of stairs, but for some reason, I only added two, and I trust my judgment. So, now that we've done that, we're going to take the light grey concrete area here, um, the cornerstone of the build, some might call it, I certainly do. We then want to take the middle block, move down one, place a purple concrete, magenta underneath, purple on the left and right, magenta underneath the whole thing, then we want to place a yellow concrete underneath the middle, magenta on the left and right, with purple concrete left and right of that. So we want to have something which should look a little something like this. So we actually want to have the exact same logo here, but we want to stick it on a pole over here on the left side. So we're going to... Uh, we'll take out this end terracotta wall, we'll place light grey concrete here instead, and we want to raise up light grey concrete until it is one row shy of the top of the logo here. And the reason that that is significant is because then, to the right of this block, we can place a yellow concrete, magenta left and right, purple left and right of that, extend the magenta and yellow concretes upwards, each by one using magenta, Take the middle block here, place a magenta, purple concrete on the left and right, and one on top. And boom, there you go. This is really shaping up. Now, hopefully, you'd be able to identify this build. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You'd be able to identify this build with or without the sign that we're about to write. But I do feel as though that signs do enhance a build 99 times of 99. So I'm going to grab a loom, purple banners, white dye. I haven't grabbed purple dye because I'm almost certain we don't need it. We do, just watch what happens now. And then we're going to need a loom. Uh, we're going to throw that down. Let's throw a purple banner in there. And let's throw the white die. So, first letter we've got to make is a T. So, vertical row of white straight through the middle. Horizontal row across the top. That's T. Next, we have to make A. So, horizontal row across the top will do for me. Let's put one through the middle as well. And then, let's place a vertical row of white on the right and left sides. There we go. So, next would, of course, be a C. So, that is a vertical row of white on the left. That's perfect. One across the top. One across the bottom. Boom. C. Next would be... Oh, I don't know why I was struggling to think of what letter would be next, but a horizontal row across the bottom, across the top, vertical row on the right, vertical row on the left, boom, we have taco. Next would be bell. So B starts off with a vertical row of white on the right, on the, on the left, sorry, and then the right, and then horizontal through the top, bottom, through the middle, boom, you got B. Next is E, so vertical row straight through the middle will do. Bottom, top, vertical row on the left side. And then finally, we've just got to make L, which is vertical row on the left, just like this. Horizontal across the bottom, boom, we have bell. Now, you will have to remake the entire set of banners again if you're not in creative plus you will need four in total l banners so basically here middle of the purple sign t a c o space b e l l boom taco bell now you can place this on just the front which i actually i think i prefer it this way now that i'm comparing um, or, or you can also place it on the side as well as somebody designed this 
perfectly proportioned so that we can have it on both sides. I think I prefer it just on the front, but we'll leave it as is. I think I prefer it just on the front. I'm also realizing that we are missing one crucial little detail, although I didn't pick up the materials for it, so it's actually okay. I suppose that I meant to do this, uh, meant to do one little detail here um, at the end. So um, we're going to now, by the way, we can get rid of all this stuff. We're going to now head inside Taco Bell and we are going to start work on the inside. So let me get my plans up. Uh, we'll make a bit of the cooking area first, so this is going to require some purple concrete, we'll need these stairs, we'll need end rods, we'll need purple carpet, we'll need... We need so much stuff. <laughs> we need uh, a bit of the blackstone slabs as well. And we're going to start off, we'll just use these to start off with. We, we want to mirror the shape that we have down here, the counter space. We want to mirror this up here, just up at the top. And we want to have two rows of purple, just like this. That's uh, that's perfectly that's uh, that's good that's uh, that's good. So now that we have our two rows of purple, and I'm considering adding in a false ceiling to this because it seems a little high, which is what I was just thinking about when I was just placing this. So I'm thinking about if you extend the purple down another row. I was thinking about grabbing the light grey concrete, or I mean grey concrete would be good as that. Nah, nah, we we'll use light grey. Um, and I was thinking about adding in a double ceiling and then. And not only does that give us options um, for lighting a little bit later on, but it's also, um, it just kind of shrinks, like it makes it cozier. Like whenever you've got like mega high ceilings, it's cool because you can add more details and higher details and you don't have to worry about hitting stuff. But there, there is a limit to where it's like, ah, huh, this is quite, this is nice and comfortable now. Or, so I think, anyway. So, now that we've done that, we have to... Uh, oh, we also need grey concrete and black stained glass paint. We want to make kind of like a customer waiting area. So, this is made using grey concrete. And we basically just want to have a row of grey concrete that is... what it, it starts here on the left. And it just allows us to kind of like walk in front of the counter and around it. It's just like a glass barrier. Um, we also want to have a couple of smooth quartz stairs just on the counter space here those look like cash registers or tills um, we then want to place a couple of sets of seats along the back here so basically in between the door and the window double seat leave a gap or actually place purple concrete and then place a double row of smooth quartz stairs we're going to place end rods in front of the quartz stairs like this and we're going to place a purple carpet on top you can even have i don't know whether i i, I think that i don't think i'm going to add any purple carpet um, anywhere for now, but I, I was considering adding a little square of it. It works out to be like here. I was thinking about adding a little square because this table here, we want to have an opposite set of smooth quartz stairs here. And then along this back wall, if you leave a gap of one from the wall and place end rods every other block, block then uh, this is going to be a seating area and we can just place some purple carpet on top as well. So it's got one of those annoying raised like bar seating areas, if, if that makes sense, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, and now that we have done that, I mean, I guess that we... Oh, we can also place polished blackstone slabs along the top of the door here, just along the inside. But we're rapidly reaching the point where we could, we, we could really just benefit from just grabbing all of the remaining materials. Even if there are a couple of doubles, there, there probably will be some doubles. Um... And unless unless we use it now because it will just make it easier for the item list actually. So um, we're also going to grab paintings and we're also going to grab spruce planks and we're just going to decorate the area with uh, paintings a little bit. So um, like above this bar area for instance, like you can have either a double painting like this or like in between these two seating areas, like you can have a, um, I like, I, I guess that you'd call it a collage. Like, I like a collage of the one-by-ones. Like, I, I think that it just looks nice, sort of, like this. And it, it just kind of, like, brightens the place up a little bit. Like, you can, we don't have lanterns. Never mind, but 
Um, would, could, would this look silly? Hang, would it look silly to play, say, like, end rods, like where we have the window, and then, like, like a shelf of blackstone slab? I don't know if that looks silly or not. Like, I mean, we could, I wonder if we could even do it, like, to the door area here. It it probably look a little bit weird because... I mean, no, no, um, hang on. So, like this. It looks a little bit weird because there's a gap, but I, get, I, get, I sort of like that. It almost looks like some sort of fancy lighting or something. I, I'm quite happy with that. That's, that's okay. And, um... Like I said, it's really, we should probably just grab all of the materials that we need instead of struggling. So, I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff. We might need some more of it again, but let's grab everything that we ultimately do need, and then we can come back with the stuff. I've figured it out. So, here are all of the materials that we are going to be using to finish off the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. So... We're going to start off with smooth quartz slab, flower parts, partial down the side stairs, cauldrons, oak trap door, item frames, ruin stand, furnace, and detector rails. Across this back wall here, we already have the seats for it. I just want to add a, kind of like I said, it's almost like a breakfast bar sort of style, sort of like raised seating area. And we can just place some pots over here as well to look like, um, you know, like drinks. We can even add some item frames to look like food if we like. To the right here, I just want to have some bins because recycling is important. And we're going to place a couple of cauldrons just here with polished and site stairs just to the left and right of the cauldrons, just like this. And just to make it look a little bit more like a, um, you know, kind of like that's what this is. We're going to place like a flower pot here, like an item frame and kind of like uh, oak trap doors kind of like flipped up and down just like this. Uh, then we are going to work our way into here and we are going to place a couple of brewing stands just on the side and we can have like a couple of flower pots strewn about as well. Um, in the corner here we are going to have a couple of furnaces, one with a detect rail on it and both of them want to have polished and site stairs just above them. Um, we are going to also now grab, I don't know if I'm going to need some more, like flower pots um so i'm going to grab the flower pots chest way to pressure play uh flowers lantern we'll need item frames birch signs and um we can have like a maybe like a chest or two back here just to uh just to kind of like add to the flavor of the place so item frames next to the tills a lantern maybe even like a flower pot with a flower in it just to kind of like make it a little bit nice back here yeah that's that's pretty good i'm quite happy with that um, I want, so this is like um, the order board, so basically this is just going to have item frames on it with um, with like uh, signs, so uh, basically this is like where you would be ordering from, like can I have a number 2, number 3, 4, 5, you know whatever it is, the, I guess if it's me I can have a 1 through, how many numbers are there? I guess <laughs> that'd probably be my, my order, but you know, something like this, but no, come back. Uh, we can put this on, uh, put these signs here. There we go, perfect. And it, it doesn't quite work out, but if you wanted to, you could use, say, paintings. I know, I, I re grammed the paintings. Um, you can have, well, that, that looks dumb. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. And then you could have the signs here. So, like, you can supplement the item frames with a bit of paintings. And it just adds a little bit of colour to it. And I just think it looks a little bit better like this. Something that I did forget, but semi-important, is... Um, the lighting, like, if, if you're happy with it being, like, this bright in here, and we do have a decent amount of light, like, it's not bad, then that's okay. But you may find that you would like there to, like, sea lanterns underneath, like, this part. Like, you can hide them, like, underneath this, like, purple concrete area here. Like, that provides a lot of light. And if you wanted to, I mean, obviously, like, it, it goes without saying, like, lanterns can be used anywhere. Um, if you do want to, although it's tricky because it's it's tricky to add light here without it looking weird because there's not really a good place for it that matches up with um, parts of the build. But, like, you're more than welcome to add lights 
to uh, the top of the to the ceiling using sea lanterns. So um, all of these, I'll show you how to fill these in. Although it should be fairly obvious um, a little bit later on, but I just want to head outside now, and I want to make kind of like the order box. I don't know what to call it, like the speaker box, um, which is a uh, stone wall and a note block. And we're also going to add kind of like again, just like a little order board. I mean, there's. You know, there's, there's a few different ways of doing it, but um, basically, like, I want to add the speaker box here along the back, so, like, where this um, window ends with a note block on top. It just looks like a nice, simple speaker, easy peasy. And then here is where I want the orders to be. So, basically, inside these sea lanterns. And um, how does this work out? So, basically, just, like, it. let's put item frames here and here and maybe just some like or or if we shift the item frames one row across like this yes or you could even put it high so it's something that i i hadn't considered until just now okay let's put that here is that we could if we wanted to put the item frames like this I can't believe I've never considered this once in my life. And then we can have like the birch signs here. Or that well, birch doesn't contrast very well at all, does it? But I mean, you could you could grab another sign like spruce or um, a we've used a little bit dark oak wood, so it wouldn't look amiss um, in this. But um, something like this would look perfectly fine if we take off these sea lanterns here and here. As a matter of fact, it's two rows away here on the right, and it's only one row away from this window. So you could even drop this down another row, and it actually look, uh, it actually look all right. And um, basically, the point is to fill this in with you know whatever you think would be would make sense. So like any cooked meat would look good in the item frames and would make sense. You know, um, any vegetables would probably also make sense too. Um, it would look better as well. So, like, if we, say, come into the inside now. So, let's say we put, like, uh, some meats in these top ones. And I, I know that we've got another side here too, haven't we? So, there we go. So, if you put some meats in. And then, if you use... I think that dye is good for these sorts of things. Because it does... It sort of looks like... I, I think we'll avoid brown. <laughs> The the dyes sort of look like some you know some sort of salad option or salsa or sauces so it's uh, I don't know it just makes it look a little bit better and honestly like once you've done that we've kind of like hit the end of this tutorial uh, all we've got to do is take a good look at it and clean up. So this is what your modern Taco Bell should look like once it has been 100% fully completed. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me and the channel out very, very much. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing and clicking that little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all of my videos sent directly to your sub box and if you do want to make anything else by me check out the card system the description below and the top of the comment section for more the city builds playlist has so many things in there for you to make hopefully you'd never get bored thank you so much for watching i love you all very much and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye